<laughs> oh no. We offered something to Ollie to sniff recently and he did that face. Usually he's like, you know, he always wants to know what you have. But, um, oh my god, dear lord. Uh, he's never pulled that face before and it was, it was kind of funny. Okay, so like, I'm still finding lots of cans. I remember this from the demo. There we go. I don't know if I just figured that out myself in the demo, if someone told me, or if I, uh, have missed a character here. Tiggy tried eating a gargoyle. Like, oh no. What did, what did Tiggy think of that? I remember there was one time I was having, like, tacos. And, uh, some of the, like, just, like, taco sauce and seasoning dripped out. And Tiger came over and took a sneaky lick off my plate. And, uh, I think he realized it was going to be kind of spicy because he refused to put his tongue back in his mouth. And he just kind of sat there. I'm very eager to try, but you didn't let him. Good. Good, good, good. Kitty cat shouldn't have. Too, too much stuff like that. He likes the smell of coffee. Interesting. Watching hats, uh, cats hate how suddenly spicy onions make the air and they refuse to be bothered to leave the premises. Yes, I've seen funny videos of cats like sitting on a countertop while someone's chopping onions and like their eyes get all squinty and they're like, eh, but they don't want to like leave. <laughs> okay, so I think we have, oh, we have enough for a fish and I'm imagining we're going to need more fish to get home. Go. Okay, let's go trade these in. I'm also really digging the like background music for this game too. It's very, very calming. Hi. Are all of these shinies? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So shiny, so pretty, so reflective. Who's a pretty crow? Are you disposing of them responsibly? Yes. And with that, we have completed our first heroic act together. Can I just try disposing of them? Definitely not. These are ancient crow rituals. Well, do I get my reward? Your what? Oh, yes, your reward. Now, where on earth did I see that fish? Oh, just a minute. Wait, crow? Was this a scam? Where did he go? Here. Whoa, a fish! I should give you some climbing, Not enough to get all the way home, but it's a start. Where would I start climbing? There. You're gonna need more fish to make it all the way to the top. Do you have any more? Not right now, but I've seen them elsewhere in the city. Just keep your eyes open and you'll find them. Thank you. No worries, enjoy the fish. Oh, and keep hold of any shinies you find out there. I just had an idea. Um, eat. Oh, nom 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 That's so cute! Delicious fish is giving you the energy to climb ivy. That was a weird noise. Yeah, it's like the feathers in a short hike, very much so. Okay, so now we have a lot new a lot of new areas, I guess, to explore. Uh because we can climb ivy. There we go. Yeah, and it's like a little climby meter. And we have new shinies to get. <gasps> Is that a ducky? Oh my god, I think that's a ducky. Hi. Ah, hello there. I wonder if you could provide some uh, urgent assistance? I think it depends on the problem. Eh? Oh, I see quite right, you're right. I don't want to alarm anyone. It, it is a rather pressing concern. Um, although perhaps I'm panicking, but there's no two ways about it. Um, about what? Oh, didn't I say I seem to have mislaid my ducklings? Mislaid? Is that a bird joke? I don't follow. Never mind. Missing ducklings sound pretty serious. It does, doesn't it? What happened? Well, we were all enjoying an educational tour of the neighborhood. Uh, me teaching the youngsters some local history, etc. For example, you know the robot statue in the park behind us? Uh, I didn't even know there was a robot statue there. Oh, you should absolutely visit it. 
You see, the robot is quite fascinating. Not a statue in the traditional sense, either. Legend has it that a wise duck, not too dissimilar from myself, in fact, would visit this park every day with his robot friend. Very loyal robots. Delightful. Back then, this was a lake. Hulking great wet thing uh, where the pair would swim, splashing and frolicking, you know, that sort of thing. But robots on water, eh? Eh? All that fizzing and sputtering. Not simpatico at all. Rust patches, wet circuitry, exploding knees. The robot, not the duck, I mean. The robot's swimming days were over. Terribly sad stuff. So he asked the duck to change his programming. Quite the feat, if you ask me. I could never get my head around the computers myself. <laughs> duck helped the program, uh, or helped program the robot to wait in the playground while the duck swam. Grand idea, that. And it went beautifully. But, one fine day, probably much like this one, truth be told, the duck was attacked by a radioactive monster. Wait, a monster? Gekku. Usually Gekku is our protector. You know, breathing fire, saving orphans, charity galas. Lovely chap apart from the rampages, really. Rampages? Oh yes, humans write those up in the little paper documentaries. Uh, or documentaries. Uh, very engaging, really. Paper document- Do you mean comics? So Gekku kidnaps the duck and- Whoops, a daisy. Throws him through a star portal. Whoosh, quack, never to be seen again. And the thing we mistake for a statue in the playground is actually the little robot waiting patiently for his friend to return from his swim. Are you saying that Gekku has kidnapped your children? Oh, no, it's just a great story. I shared it with the ducklings before we split up. I had to find more neighborhood stories for our little show and tell session. Show and tell? That sounds fun. Oh, oh yes, I thought so. Anyway, we scampered off in different directions. All very exciting in the moment. But, uh, I suppose this is the crux of the matter, really. I didn't set a time or place for us to reconvene. Uh-huh. Wasn't sure what to do for the best. Uh, not really a practical duck, you see, but I didn't want us to be rushing around missing one another. Dreadful when that happens. So I retraced my steps back here and waited. No luck? Alas, no, but you seem like a practical sort of catch. Very resourceful. So, could we team up? I'll keep watch here. Been kind of enjoying it, really. And you scout the city? The whole city? It seems pretty big. Mm, you're right. There must be a way for us to narrow down our search. Eureka. We made a city map just last week. Marvelous thing. Part of our project to catalog all the different fish hotspots in the city. The ducklings marked each of their favorite places on it, too. Such enthusiasm for maps. I bet that's where they'll have gone. Here, you take it. My orienteering skills are dreadful, but you'll be able to track them down in no time. Oh, we got a map. <laughs> map made by the ducklings. It's really good. Just ignore the fish markers. Can't see what interest they would be to a kitty, unless you're a budding uh, itchiologist, of course. <gasps> fish markers, you say? Okay, so ducky, ducky, fish. Ducky, ducky. I like how it's duckies in like construction hats. Okay, I think I'm understanding it. Ace, how are you doing today? I am thoroughly enjoying it so far been very very cute i want to go see this statue hi hello test subject uh steam lab assistant i managed to get the network portals uh connected up properly that was quick would have been even quicker but there was a minor space time incident nothing to worry about though how minor in the grand scheme of the multiverse it was absolutely trivial just a teeny tiny set of water pipe explosions that fell out of the future in the other universe and into the recent past of this universe. Hang on, hang on a moment, is that where all this water came from? Turns out I've been using linear space-time when I should have used quadratic space-time. Laughable, really. You wanna try it out? It's really cool and I need a test of a uh, friend. Um, this drastic space-time is safe now, is it? Quadratic space-time. Although now you mention it, drastic space-time could be very interesting too. Are either of them safe? I assume so. Anyway, if we get this working, you can use it to fast travel around the city. Um, in that case, sign me up. Don't say no just yet, hear me out. But I said yes. Firstly, there are- wait, what? I said yes. For real? Call me curious. Say, this is so exciting, you won't regret it. Do you need feathers again? Not this time. Your first journey was so short that I had leftovers. Hop in. 
It's gonna work this time, I'm 100% sure. Give or take. Whee! Oh yeah, I haven't saved yet. I haven't saved yet, so that's a good note. I thought it was auto-saving. Oh, this put me back at the beginning. Oh, it's you, you came back. Oh, hi! I thought I scared you off when I jumped up at the window. That was you? Goodness me, you did give me a bit of a fright. Sorry, sorry, I just get so excited when people come to visit. You're a dog, right? Only the best is best good as a dog, my human says so. <laughs> it's nice to meet you properly. I didn't know there was an official best is best dog title. Ah, so you may know me as my other accolades. Perhaps the squishiest, smooshiest potato or the fuzziest, happiest little pooper. We found Tater. That we have found him. Yeah, I really like the Tanuki a lot. Uh, wait, my owner told me that I was the squishiest, smooshiest potato. Are you sure? Certain. I remember because she said it several times while smooshing my tummy with her nose. Gosh, that award must have multiple animal categories then. It's a pleasure to meet a fellow potato. <laughs> Likewise. Anyway, it was lovely to chat. I hope you have a good day. Um, don't go. This is this thing that happened. Can you help me, little potato? What do you need help with? I've lost my balls. I need, I need, I need a moment. <laughs> Mike's giggling. <laughs> hey, Mike, trouble see you. It does auto save. I learned to hard save often. Uh, my tennis balls are gone. Come through and I'll show you. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do a nice hard save. There we go. Oh, he dig. Look, no balls. Um, I appreciate this might be a silly question, but are they behind you? What? Oh, those. No, these are just my regular favorite tennis balls. I'm talking about my extra special favorite, favorite tennis balls. They're very different. What happened to them? Oh, well, you see, Tanuki built me a present. Uh, let me guess. There was an incident of some sort. Not to start with. It was so cool you could put tennis balls in it and it would throw them for me while my owner was at work. That sounds really nice. It's perfect for a while, but um, it also did go rogue one day. Balls everywhere and then it caught on fire a tiny bit i've got most of them back but my three favorite favorites are still missing and the machine i buried it but please don't tell tanuki she will be so sad uh, and also please 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 can you help me find my favorite balls i'd be so grateful sure but how will i know if they're your favorites don't all tennis balls look the same absolutely not each one is subtly different Subtly different from the others. The scent, the taste, the texture, the personality. I'm not sure I'd be able to tell the favorites from the non-favorites if that's the case. Well, my favorite balls also have a bright rainbow colored stripes. Now that's a description I can work with. Shall I bring them here when I find them? Yes, please. Just put them in the hole in front of me and I can guard them properly. Sure thing, big potato. You're the best little potato. I am here for the potatoes. Look at you. Can I... Can I... Oh. I wanted to like nuzzle and I- Oh, you're so cute! <gasps> I love this game. What this? Oh, <gasps> Nap? Hello? Oh, perfect. We're doing a little nappy in here. Big potato, little potato. Oh, this is so cute! We have our little butt sticking out. Because of course we do. It's very important. Okay, so now I know that nap spots are also something that I need to be on the lookout for. Oh, I might not be able to reach this. You can do it! Ah. Alright, well now we know that you're here. This is a tennis ball, but it, it's not high again. It's not a striped one. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything here. I know that there's this. Couldn't climb that the first time. Nope. <laughs> Sorry, baby. We're too 
too weak. We need to need to get good. Okay. Um. So that's the trash can we fell out of. There's some water. Right. There's more water. We don't like water. Um. I guess this is like a shortcut through here now, right? So you don't have to like go all the way around. Yeah. Cool. All right, chat, keep an eye out for rainbow colored tennis balls and ducklings. <clears throat> this map is really weird. <laughs> so I think there's going to be a duckling behind that dog, if I'm reading this right. And that purple home is our house. Oh! Gosh, right. Oh my god. It like... Okay. So for anyone who hasn't played this or maybe plays with like master keyboard for whatever reason. Um, the... Uh, anytime you, you touch the water, your controller like does a very violent like shake. So not only is the cat getting spooked, but so am I. Okay. Continue wandering around this new area. Uh, is there anything interesting? Oh, no, no, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, I didn't want that refill, did I? There we go. Oh, I knew we could do it. Um, uh, okay. So. It'd probably be best for me to get rid of this from here. No, no, come on. Okay, cool. Um, and then this. Oh, I think I found a new hat. Very cozy. You're just exploring around the city trying to find your way back home. Finding little hats, little achievements, collectibles. It's very cute. If you enjoyed, like, Untitled Goose Game, you're probably going to enjoy this game. Um, or games kind of similar to like a short hike or little gator game even. Now, why do I suddenly want to race go-karts with a plumber in red overalls? <laughs> All right, we found our next hat. There we go. Oh, we're so cute. It's really cute. Um, if you have Game Pass, it's available on there. Um, it's also on Steam. And I think it's slightly discounted on Steam right now, I believe I read. Okay, so I have ways to get over here now. Let's do some, uh, do some climbing. Oh, you don't have Game Pass. Fair enough. Well, if you want to pick it up on Steam. Also, totally not to jinx it, but I'm really glad it seems to be running well for me today, because this is on Game Pass. No. Um, the last time I tried to stream a Game Pass game off PC was Dordonia, and we had a lot of trouble with that. There was a demo for this game, actually. Um, I don't know if the demo is still available, but it was available a couple months back. I know that much because we checked it out on stream. <gasps> what this? <gasps> I see an, uh, an orange hat. <laughs> Kitty, look at the kind of cat who enjoys a stash accessory or two. Thank you for noticing. I'm very observant. You are. Well, it was nice to see you again. Unrelatedly, have you heard about my new and glorious business venture? Uh, it's called Shinies for Hats. Oh, is it not? They really should uh, have the demo available. True, you can do the refund before two hours is up. Are you selling hats now? Absolutely not. But it's literally called Shinies for Hats. Aha, uh -huh, that's the clever part. I'm not selling hats, I'm selling access to hats. You see, the hats live in these little pod machines. And you, a helpless kitty, do not have the secret wisdom to get to use the machines. Let me guess, you do? 
but of course. Oh my god, your crow can perform the ancient crow ritual of inserting a token and turning a knob. That doesn't sound so difficult. Which brings us to business. My proposition is as follows. Five. Uh, Shinies lets you hire one crow, that's me, to retrieve one hat. So you are selling hats. No, I'm a facilitator operating within a gig economy framework. With a business called Shinies for Hats? Yes, but only because Shinies for access to crows who have access to hats tested poorly with consumers. And to use this business, I pay five Shinies and get one hat. You're missing the subtle economic genius of my idea. I am the hat gatekeeper. Look, do you want a hat or not? Yes, please. Here you go. I got the grape hat. Love this look a whole bunch. <laughs> Ugh. All right, turtle hat, I'm sorry. My inner fantasy is calling. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> you got a little hat. <laughs> but yeah, no, so far we've been playing this game for, I'm gonna say about an hour, give or take. It is very, very cute. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of just little explorations and that's not the right word. Little adventures. Uh, kind of seeing things and figuring out how you can get there uh, or what you can do with it. Oh, sorry. I thought there might be something back here. Okay, so I think that there's a hat in there, but I don't know how to get to it. Nope, there is no dying. There is no dying. The cat cannot get hurt from what I've seen on Twitter. Um, no such thing as losing your inventory as far as I know either, which is really nice. It's literally just explore and figure out your way around. There we go. Okay. Whoopsies. Who needed a phone again? Sorry, sorry, sir. Sorry. Oh, he do be stomping. Bear with, sir. Bear with. I know you're angry, but... Gosh, try. I can't get him again. I need a phone for that beetle. Oh, well. <laughs> Great chaos. Oh, I found another bow there. That might be for another pupper. Bring these in for our recycling program. Oh, there's the robot. There's the one that they were talking about earlier. There we go. Getting our shinies. Um. Uh, I imagine that's going to be for something at some point. Yeah, I need to find a dog dog bowl for that bone. But at least I know that it's there. Oh, one shiny, two shinies. Oh, so we have enough for two hats currently. Can I go on the slide? Wee <laughs> oh that's cute. Can I climb up the slide? You can do it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, and that robot has a bow on it. I almost feel like that might be something we should keep an eye on as well. Do those vending machines look like milk jugs? That's adorable. Or milk cart, I guess would be the right word. That's super cute. Go oh, more shinies. It is, it is. So we gotta be weary of that robot. Oh, there's diff. Okay. So I think my, my thing here, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna try to get all the hats from one machine and then move on to the next machine because I wanna collect all the hats. I think I went around a long way, but that's okay. All hats percent. 
Uh, yes, please. We got a watermelon hat. It's a melon for my melon. All right, and it'll even give you a little check mark to show that you already have it. There's the Tangelo hat. There's something very appealing about this one. Oh, you just tripped on me. Why are you mad at me? You tripped on me. Uh. Oh, Blade, do share. Do share. Fishy spin, fishy spin, fishy spin. <laughs> Pat, thank you so much for the 33 months. I hope you're having a great one. Welcome on in. Apple Avocado. Hello as well. I hope you're both having a great day. I don't have enough shinies. And Jello. My bad, my bad. Oh, well, I've already been in this trash can. I thought not. Uh, and question of the day, by the way. Um... Uh, if you guys are interested, do you have any funny stories to tell about your pets? Oh. Oh, I found a Rubik's Cube. I don't know what to do with it, but I have it. Yeah, please do. Okay, so we got a soccer ball right there. Uh, definitely gotta keep that in mind. Put that there for now. <laughs> solve it. I don't- I can't solve one as a human. I don't know about this- this cat being able to solve one. Go. Okay. So I have enough for the last hat. Yes, please. To be the pear. Yay! Hey, it's a pear! If it's a pear, where's the other one? Okay, now. Uh. I need this one. There we go. Eventually got down to 47 seconds. That's really cool. Allison, hello! How are you today? Welcome on in. Oh, here's the doggy. There's the bowl. Let's get that set up then. Tweakable metal inside. It takes the original layout and lets you do like changes like removing certain palms or changing the grass layout. I appreciate that because, yeah, the palms in that map are really awkward. So is the grass, to be honest, but. Look! Yeah! Happy tail, happy butt. That bird... They don't all sparkle, do they? Did y'all see that? Hi -oh. Did you just say hi? Oh my god, please don't trip on me. Hi! Oh my god, here, let me nuzzle you. Sorry. Oh, the shiny bird went away. Oh no, there it is again. Okay, I need bread. Come on. Give me your briefcase, there might be bread in there. Ow, don't hit me with a metal briefcase, oh my god. Go. Do you got bread? Oh, you got money. I'll take that. <laughs> she left her briefcase. <laughs> I was looking for bread. 